what do you do when your horse is sick, how to know when your horse is sick, how to prevent my horse from being sick. Let's see, let's start at the end and work up. So prevention is when a new horse comes into the farm and you quarantine, mm -hmm. when you take and isolate sick horses clearly, when you take your horse somewhere, you use um, biosecurity measures so you don't share equipment. Like like, a, like one of those hazmat suits? No, more like your own bucket to drink oh, out of. Okay, yeah, fair. versus That's look, much more there's a moderate. group watering trough. Mm -hmm. Stay away from that. Use your own bucket. Bring your own buckets. Um, and then, so that's how to prevent your horse from being sick. Also, having your veterinarian there to do a general wellness exam, like we talked about in the mm -hmm. pre-purchase, that includes, um, it, it could be annual, it could be twice annual, but it might also be uh, finished with vaccinations. They're a great way to prevent diseases. Then you can talk about parasite control. That's a way to keep your horse healthy and, and well. Um, knowing they're sick, you have to know your horse's, know what he's like when he's healthy. Mm -hmm. So that includes not just his attitude and his appetite and, and all that, but also his temp, what's his normal temperature? Because mm -hmm. there's a, a range of normal temperatures in horses, 99.5 to 100.5, but yours might be different. Yours might be 99. Yours might, might be 101. If you don't know that, before you think he's acting a little off, and then you take his temperature, and then it's not in that perfect textbook range, you're like, well, now what, what does it mean? So know yeah. your horse's normals, and then when he's standing away from the herd mm -hmm. is a big one. Know the colic signs, um, not bearing weight on a leg, uh, squinting is, an eye. What does his manure usually look mm -hmm. like? How or is often? there not? Yeah. Does he drink? Right. Does he pass manure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all those things. Not eating. I mean, those are all signs that something is going on and that you need to um, look closer and perhaps get on the phone with your vet and tell that person what you're seeing and then have them help you make the decision, does the vet need to come out or do you need to take a wait and see approach and keep observing and give an update? Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll help you decide that. It's not something you have to worry about. One of my favorite things that I learned about you when we first uh -oh. started working together was that you keep a diary. I do. All about Newman. I keep a journal and something. Is it called Newman's Normals? Because I think it should be. <laughs> well, we used it um, just yesterday to figure out something. He's got airway disease. And oh. he's on a puffer and right. inhaler. I, that I know. Yep. That also he got trained with treats. Oh, so no. <laughs> And it, for the last couple of weeks, he's been coughing and mm. having some mucoid discharge. And so we upped his schedule because it was every three days. Mm. Went to every two days, every day, twice a day. Not ha no difference. Then my barn owner, not me, figured out based on the journal, maybe the inhaler was bad. Ooh. So she just put that aside, put a new inhaler in, perfect. No coughing, no discharge, running around crazy, may have broken a fence, super. So you've got to know your horse's normals and pay attention and observe. That's how you figure out stuff. Yeah, and that's how you spot trends and see what changes. Exactly, exactly. My favorite part of this question from Rolly Polly, Rolly Polly, Rolly Polly, I don't know, <laughs> was that uh, you had the nicest comment for us. And she noted, I'm asking you guys, not searching in Google, because you guys are more understandable, funny, and sweet. That's it's so more fun nice. that way. Oh, make so me take cry. take that, Google. <laughs> Dr. Google. As we put this video on YouTube. <laughs> we just don't have to talk about that. Whatever.